So we are standing in a 60,000 square foot state-of-the-art greenhouse in Queens, New York. And this is a completely climate controlled facility which enables us to grow crops year round. So 365 days of the year regardless of the outdoor weather conditions. We're a company that really focuses on leafy greens, lettuces, fresh herbs. We operate a network of these facilities now around the country and it enables us to deliver this farm fresh produce to some of our cities across the country. You obviously keep in conditions at such a, an optimal temperature. The first thing I notice is it's, it's really warm in here. You kind of keep everything just perfect for these greens. Exactly, and that's the idea, because if you can create the optimal growing conditions for the crops and they grow, they tend to be much healthier, they tend to have better nutrition, it's better to manage against pests, they have a denser physiology, which enables longer shelf life, and they grow much quicker compared to conventional field farming. So we can grow a full head of lettuce in about approximately 30 days, wow. while out in the field it would take about 60 days to grow that. This farm is about an acre and a half, yet we can produce the same yields as approximately a 30-acre farm. Wow. So that gives you the productivity from a relatively small footprint. And no soil. This kind of shattered everything I've ever known about farming. There's no soil, right? What are they growing in? Yeah, that's correct. This is a completely soilless facility. So we employ a method of farming known as hydroponic. Okay. It comes from the Greek word water working. So it's a water-based form of agriculture where we dissolve nutrients, carefully calibrated blend of crop nutrients into the irrigation water itself. And this form of hydroponics is really well suited to urban farming where we don't have a lot of arable land, we, we don't have healthy soil, but there's a real misconception that one needs soil to grow. Actually, yeah. is, uh, this proves that you can really grow food anywhere regardless of the geography. Now, where is the water coming from? How are they being watered? Yeah, so we have this proprietary nutrient delivery system, so we drip irrigate all the crops with this proprietary blend of nutrients. A thin film of water and nutrients are delivered to the roots and then we collect all the irrigation water for reuse. Okay. So we're essentially recycling 100% of the irrigation water 365 days wow. of the year. So we can grow a full head of lettuce using just a couple gallons of water compared to the open field where it requires almost 40 gallons of water to grow a single head of lettuce. When you take a commodity like lettuce, 95% of the lettuce that's consumed in the US and Canada is centralized to one growing region in California. So our vision is really to have this decentralized network of farms so we can produce the produce more locally. And so we started in New York. This is our flagship facility here in New York City. We also have facilities in Chicago, New England, Colorado, California. The core of this business is environmental sustainability. Agriculture is the leading consumer of land on this planet. It's the leading consumer of fresh water. It's the leading cause of global water pollution. And as an overall sector is responsible for about 30% of global carbon emissions. We need to find more technological solutions and supply chain solutions to reduce our overall energy footprint. And by growing the food in such close proximity to the market, we can really cut down on long distance transportation. So all the diesel fuel that goes into shipping fresh produce, which has to be refrigerated um, across long distances and all the associated emissions. All right, so now we're in the thick of the, the basil aroma. That's right, this is our fresh basil. It's one of our best selling products. And you know, basil is a highly perishable herb. It, it doesn't last a long time. And most of the basil that's consumed in New York prior to Gotham Greens had to be flown in, often thousands of miles away, to reach consumers. And it wouldn't really last very long. So this is a locally grown solution that we can provide our supermarket partners and restaurants uh, year round. One thing that we really pride ourselves on is the uniformity of the crop, really how consistent it, uh, it grows and yeah. how literally each plant almost looks identical. And, and it takes a lot of work to be able to do that. It takes a really strong understanding of plant physiology, of engineering, and that's really what this technique is. It's really a combination of horticultural techniques and engineering techniques. More and more mouths to feed globally, increasing populations, and dwindling natural resources, we do believe that indoor farming provides a much more resource efficient, yeah. localized way to produce many types of high value, perishable fruits and vegetables.